Maybe whenever I get married, I'm about to wear his ass out. So I need to make sure that I'm healthy to do so. Welcome to Neverland. But your wish is my command. I take you back. Hey, y'all. I thought that I would come on here and share some information with you guys about my weight loss journey. It's something that I've heavily documented on Instagram because that's the only social media outlet that I do have. Follow me. Um, but I do get a lot of questions, predominantly from women, um, asking me about my fitness journey and, and whatnot. So I thought that I could create a video about it. I felt that this would kind of be like a good lane to start in because hey, this is what I'm doing, I have the information I can provide, and it's something that I'm really passionate about. So if you're interested in the details, uh, stay tuned. So first off, you're probably like, who in the hell is this girl up here talking? Uh, I am not, and I will say this again, I am not like a fitness expert, I'm not a nutritionist, none of that. I am just sharing with you what I know. So we can just get that out of the way. Um, my name is Ray and uh, weight comes on for me like this and it takes a little bit longer to get off so that's kind of why I have been into like the healthy healthy fitness I guess journey and lifestyle because I'm short I'm 5'3 and when quarantine set in and they were well when y'all was doing what y'all was doing with the toilet paper and stuff can we just get into that real quick listen i am not usually one to like worry and panic but when i was watching all the goddamn videos about y'all at the grocery store costco target taking all the toilet paper and stuff y'all y'all was doing too much anyway i was in a slight panic i can't at the time i weighed 181 so i knew that sitting at home eating box food or stored food in the freezer which is not something that i did anyway was not gonna work for me because like i said i can gain weight very easily um, the next thing about me is that I have rheumatoid arthritis, and if anyone is not familiar with that, it's an autoimmune disease, and it is arthritis that is caused by an overactive immune system. So I was already working out because I knew that I needed to keep my muscles and tissues warmed up. Um, I wanted to be strong and have strength because I just remember the days when it was hard for me to walk, step into the bathtub. It was hard for me to type. It was hard for me to be able to open up a car door. Like stuff was rough. So I knew that I needed to make sure that I stayed healthy and stayed active. But I also needed to make sure that I paid attention to what I eat because some things that you eat can trigger your arthritis to cause your tissues to be inflamed etc etc so before this I was working out every day and I was seeing like the muscle tone but I wasn't seeing the weight loss and quite honestly I don't even know if weight loss is something that I was going for at the time I was just trying to be healthy and look good and I felt like I did but I was trying to look the best that I can look I guess at the time I don't know girl I don't know so I ended up thinking you know maybe I should start fasting because if we're gonna be stuck in the house and we're gonna have a limited supply of food because y'all was tripping um, I just needed to do something so that when quarantine was over and I was sitting somewhere on the beach with a bikini that I wasn't um, bigger than I already was because I've been bigger before um, y'all didn't tell me for sure because I look back on them pictures and I'm like damn why didn't nobody tell me I was fat anyway um, when you're short, you don't really have a lot of room for the weight to go. So it just spreads wide. It just, oh God. Anyway, I just knew that I need to do something different and I need to keep my focus on something other than what was going on because there was just a lot going on at the time. Now I can't even lie. Initially when I started to think about fasting, I started to think about fasting because I knew I didn't want to save a lot or waste a lot of money eating, but I also didn't want to get bigger. I didn't really take in um, the thought of like how much weight I was going to lose. But when the weight started coming off, I was like, baby, we got action. Like, and I got excited because like I said before, I wasn't really focused on the weight loss. So I started to put together a goal. So I think the first time I was like, okay, I'm gonna lose like 10 pounds. Then the 10 pounds came easily. Then I was like, okay, I wanna lose 15. Then I was like, okay, I need a five, you know, a five pound buffer because I can have a good weekend um, and eat out or whatever the case is, step back on the scale, and then I'm going to be seven pounds heavier. Y'all know how it is. So I was like, okay, I need to find power buffer, 20 pounds. Well, now I'm at 19 pounds down. And in four months, I've lost 19 pounds. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll do 25. We'll see. It, it just depends. We'll see where we get you. But um, then I figured out, okay, the gyms had closed, which I was really disappointed about. But I needed to figure out how I was going to stay consistent with that. And so I started walking. 
and every day I want to say I walked minimally like 30 minutes but then I want to say I pushed it at times to go maybe an hour hour and a half just depending on how far I was walking or what I had to do for the day or whatever because even though we were in quarantine I was still working so I figured that out and then kind of just figure out the schedule for fasting because I hadn't fasted in a very long time. And so I just need to make sure that it was realistic for me and how long I was going to do it. I've seen people who don't eat for 16 hours because so, I wake up hungry. So how is that even possible? Um, but I started off slowly. So outside of walking, which we already discussed, and outside of making sure that I still made healthy choices and was going to the store, whatever, whatnot. Um, I wanted to make sure that I can find a schedule that I was going to eat on and how I was going to fast. So now I do. I, I probably um, fast for at least 16 hours. Sometimes I might push it to 17, 18, kind of just depending on what's going on. The window of time that I can eat is between 12 and 8, but I'm normally done with dinner and have cooked by 7 o'clock. I try to keep my meals consistent. And so I get a lot of questions about like, Ray, what do you eat? I know that it sounds boring. I don't do meal prep. That's one thing I don't do because I love to eat and food has to taste good. And so from my experience with meal prep, and I've done it a long time ago and it's just not my C's, um, you can have something the first day it's going to be cool. But by that second or third day, them vegetables and stuff, I just, for, no, I'm over it. I can eat the same thing consistently, but the food has to be fresh and it has to taste good. So what I do is I will have the same breakfast for like, say, a block of time. So say for like four to six weeks, I'll eat the same thing for breakfast i'll have maybe two to three different snack options and if i do snack it's maybe once maybe twice you know during my eight hour period and then um, i'll play around with dinner and that way when i weigh myself each morning which i normally do once i've used the restroom nude every single morning when i first wake up um, I will know kind of where I need to go and what adjustments I need to make um, if I've had a flux in my weight in a bad way. If I know that like I tried something different for dinner and I step on the scale the next morning and I'm two pounds after I've used the bathroom and whatnot heavier, maybe I had too much sugar in what I ate, maybe there was too much sodium or something like that that wasn't good for me. So I'll know to like fix my dinner or not make, not make that for dinner versus just kind of playing around with a little bit of everything and then trying to figure out what do I need to cut so that's kind of my little trick now I'm not a nutritionist like I said I am not like any type of um health expert or anything like that but that works for me and it keeps me grounded i do hear people say oh don't worry about the scale worry about the inches now i'm worried about all of it i'm worried about the inches the scale the looks the sweat i'm worried about it all because i need to know and see that something is actually working so for me that's something that works and that was an easy fix if i need to alter one meal i kind of know like what i need to do where i need to make that alteration you know what i mean and so that's what kept it Real, realistic for me and again this isn't like rocket science these are just things that are easy so that's what I do boom I figured out fasting boom I figured out what I was going to do as far as the hours I was going to fast boom I figured out what I was going to have consistently for breakfast and for snacks and I would play around with dinner and then boom I walked every single day every day fresh in the morning and um, it was effective and it made me feel good it it I don't know it just made me feel good it was just good um, a couple of things that I did was I made sure that I stuck with some of the same things as far as what I was drinking alcohol was definitely not one of them I'm more of a social drinker I'm a lightweight so I don't drink in the house just to be sitting there drinking and that was damn sure something I was not gonna do during quarantine what I do as my like natural pre-workout and I've been doing this for some time is every morning I have a ginger shot Every morning I drink bee juice, not maybe not a full cup, maybe like a half a cup or something like that. You don't need a whole lot. It's really effective. I put water in um, a four ounce or four cup bottle, like 32, 33 ounces of water. And I only drink alkaline water. Um, I put chlorophyll in there. And then I just drink water throughout the day. I actually discovered um, sparkling waters or whatever. You need to add a little bit of stevia to it because it doesn't taste like any of the flavors that the box says. It just smells like it. But you add a little bit of stevia 
Stevia to it and it's popping. And so those are kind of the things that I did and it worked for me. Um, Google the benefits of intermittent fasting. Google the benefits of chlorophyll. Google the benefits of uh, beet juice and ginger and turmeric and things like that. One thing that I read about both ginger and ginger shots and um, beet juice is that it doesn't spike your insulin levels. So if you have a small amount of it, you don't have to worry about breaking your fast, which I haven't had to worry about that. The weight still came off. And what people say is true. When you feel good, you look good. When you look good, when you, you know what I mean? When you look good, you feel good. I think that's what it is. Anyway, um, it was just like a win-win for me. So I think that my next goal is going to be 25 pounds. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you're not already um, and ask questions, send me DMs or whatever. As much as I can tell you, I will to hopefully help you get to whatever goal that you like. Again, I'm only sharing this because this is what worked for me. And if it worked for me and it was simple and affordable and effective, I'm sure it'll be the same for you.